Starship Flight 6 didn't just set a new milestone. It shook the entire foundation of space exploration. SpaceX's cutting-edge rocket isn't just flying higher and farther. It's leaving NASA scrambling to keep up. With reusable boosters, rapid turnaround, and jaw-dropping cost reductions, this flight has reshaped the space industry. But here's the terrifying reality. What happens next could render NASA and even global space agencies obsolete. SpaceX is rewriting the rules, and this historic flight could mark the beginning of a new, unsettling space era. Let's find out how Flight 6 is rewriting history and why NASA is bracing for impact. Starship Flight 6 wasn't just another launch. It was a declaration of dominance. After months of meticulous preparation, SpaceX pulled off yet another awe-inspiring flight with 33 Raptor engines blazing in unison. This wasn't merely a test. It was proof that SpaceX is rapidly perfecting rapid reusability. The water-cooled steel plate beneath the launch pad ensured the infrastructure could withstand immense heat and pressure, something NASA's SLS system can't claim. This system, designed to handle the force of the Raptor engines, is a game-changer, ensuring faster and safer launch cadences. With every success, SpaceX tightens its grip on the future of space exploration, leaving NASA stuck with its billion-dollar single-use rockets. Every successful launch widens the technological gap, making it harder for traditional space agencies to keep up. NASA's aging technology and slow decision-making are no match for SpaceX's agile, innovation-driven approach. The pace at which SpaceX operates has left critics and supporters alike questioning whether the old ways of NASA can survive in this new era. Flight 6 wasn't a one-off triumph. It cemented SpaceX as the leader of a new era. In contrast, SpaceX aims to reduce Starship's launch costs to under $10 million. SpaceX has created a model where iterative design and rapid testing trump bureaucratic delays, a model that NASA, weighed down by political and institutional constraints, simply cannot replicate. Each flight pushes the boundaries further, making NASA's billion-dollar launches look increasingly antiquated and inefficient. The old guard of space exploration is crumbling under the pressure of SpaceX's relentless innovation. Starship Flight 6 also showcased advancements that are bringing SpaceX closer to interplanetary travel. The mission demonstrated improved heat shielding and atmospheric re-entry capabilities, crucial for missions to Mars. Musk's dream of colonizing Mars seems closer than ever, while NASA remains bogged down with bureaucracy and outdated tech. SpaceX thrives on risk-taking and rapid iteration, whereas NASA's conservative approach leaves it unable to keep pace. If SpaceX can achieve Mars landings before NASA, it could redefine the agency's role in space exploration. The implications are staggering. A private company could become the first entity to put humans on another planet, an achievement once reserved for nations and their space programs. NASA, once synonymous with space exploration, now risks becoming an observer in a field it once dominated. The fear isn't just about competition. It's about losing the very identity that NASA has built over decades of groundbreaking work. The Artemis program, a cornerstone of NASA's future, is also at risk. NASA relies on SpaceX's Starship to act as the human landing system for the program. But if SpaceX perfects Starship independently, it could potentially outpace Artemis altogether. NASA's leadership role in space exploration is being directly challenged, and the stakes couldn't be higher. Artemis, once envisioned as NASA's flagship lunar program, could be relegated to a secondary role, with SpaceX stealing the spotlight. This dynamic raises uncomfortable questions about the future of public versus private space exploration. How long can NASA rely on partnerships with SpaceX before it becomes apparent that the agency is playing a supporting role? This isn't just about technology. It's about power, prestige, and the future of space leadership. Globally, SpaceX's success is causing ripples that NASA can't ignore. China is racing to develop its own reusable rockets inspired by Starship, and the Long March 9 is their answer to Musk's innovation. However, while others scramble to catch up, SpaceX is already planning upgrades to double Starship's payload capacity. Musk envisions three Starship flights per day, a cadence that could outpace the entire world's space programs combined. For NASA, the fear isn't just losing to SpaceX, 
it's falling behind the international space race entirely. The United States, once the leader of global space efforts, now faces the uncomfortable reality that private companies and rival nations are closing the gap. SpaceX is not just competing with NASA, it's competing with every space agency worldwide, and it's winning. The race to dominate space is no longer a slow and steady marathon. It's a sprint, and SpaceX is far ahead of the pack. NASA has always been a symbol of American ingenuity and leadership in space. But as SpaceX takes center stage, that narrative is shifting. For the public, the excitement of space exploration is increasingly tied to Elon Musk and his ambitious goals. NASA, meanwhile, struggles to capture the same level of enthusiasm. If this trend continues, it could undermine NASA's ability to secure funding and support for future missions. The fear isn't just about losing the space race. It's about losing the hearts and minds of the people. Public perception matters, and in this battle for relevance, SpaceX is winning. Musk's bold vision resonates with a generation that values speed, efficiency, and audacity over tradition and caution. NASA, once the darling of the space community, now risks being seen as a relic of a bygone era. The consequences of this shift could extend far beyond budgets and missions, altering the cultural significance of space exploration itself. Starship Flight 6 wasn't just about technical achievements. It was a strategic move in a larger game. By perfecting Starship, Musk is positioning SpaceX to control not just space travel, but the infrastructure of the future. Imagine a world where SpaceX is the primary provider of satellites, lunar landers, and even Mars colonies. NASA's role would shrink to that of a customer, reliant on SpaceX for critical missions. This isn't just a shift in technology, it's a shift in power, with SpaceX emerging as the undisputed leader in the new space race. The implications of this dominance are profound. SpaceX could dictate the terms of space exploration, setting priorities and agendas that align with Musk's vision. Traditional space agencies, constrained by politics and public accountability, may find themselves sidelined, forced to adapt to a new reality where private companies lead and governments follow. The success of Flight 6 also highlights the weaknesses of NASA's current approach. Bureaucracy, politics, and outdated practices have hampered NASA's ability to innovate. In contrast, SpaceX operates with a startup mentality, iterating quickly and learning from failures. This difference in philosophy is stark, and it's why SpaceX is pulling ahead. For NASA, the question isn't just how to compete, it's whether they can compete at all. If they don't adapt, they risk becoming irrelevant in the very field they once dominated. The urgency for change has never been greater. NASA must decide whether to embrace the bold, risk-taking approach that defines SpaceX or continue down a path that could lead to obsolescence. The stakes are not just financial or technical, they're existential. This is a battle for the soul of space exploration, and the outcome will shape humanity's future among the stars. Starship Flight 6 wasn't just a milestone, it was a wake-up call. SpaceX is racing toward a future where private companies, not governments, dominate space exploration. For NASA, this is more than a challenge. It's a fight for survival. But what do you think? Can NASA rise to the occasion? Or are we witnessing the dawn of a new corporate-led space era? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on the race to the stars. The future of space is unfolding, and you don't want to miss it.